Yes, that has been a very interesting uh, exchange program for future teachers or teacher trainees, as I am one of those. And we were 10 people who came to uh, Minneapolis and visited a few schools and we had the opportunity to work and sit in classes at uh, se several schools and also get a general information about the education system in Minnesota. We are always looking for ways to reach as many people as we can throughout Germany and of course teachers are a great way to do that. Um, when you talk to a teacher you then can reach out through them to the students that they teach. This group was a, a fantastic group of diverse high school English teachers. So we sent them to the United States. Um, once they learn a little bit more about the United States they can present a, a more accurate balanced picture of the US having had personal experience. And so that goes to their students. You know, you know, if they, if they teach for 20 years and, and talk to hundreds of students over the time, then we've really multiplied the number of people that we're able to uh, reach out to and come into contact with. Excellent teachers come in all colors, hues, genders, and sizes, but they also serve as role models, and you all know this better than I do. Sometimes there can be nothing more convincing than being able to say, look, I understand where you're coming from, or look, I know, I've been through this myself. There are a number of non-governmental organizations or NGOs and also individuals who support these and similar programs. And I am extremely happy that here in Germany we have found such great partners to work with on this study tour for minority teachers. The participating teachers and teachers-to-be are the stars of this program. But the trip would not have been possible without the support of the Migra Mentor Network for Immigrant Teachers in Berlin, the Horizonte Program for Immigrant Teachers at the Herte Foundation, and we work with Herte across a number of programs and we're big fans, the Checkpoint Charlie Foundation, ditto, and the Center for German and American, the German and European Studies at the University of Minnesota, one of our great American institutions. We'd also like to acknowledge the cooperation of the DAAD and the Freie Universität Berlin. They too are excellent partners. Yeah, the te technology surprised me a lot because they are so modern and so high. And like, I, I saw, like there were there were lots of smart boards and a lot of computers, and that was pretty surprising. And then the atmosphere was different in, as well. So the fact that teachers had their own room and um, pupils went there, and then it was more like a cozy and familiar. Well, I'm very interested in building a um, everlast or at least long-term relationship with the school I worked with. Uh, they have a music program as we do and they also teach English, uh, German and we have a bilingual English program so it would be very beneficial to both parties to get to know each other so we are thinking of uh, inviting them over and uh, play music together on several concerts and uh, send some kids over from here to the United States as well. President Barack Obama, for one, is also passionate about education. In the global economy, the greatest job qualification isn't what you can do, but what you know. With the world societies and economies becoming more and more interdependent, it is almost impossible to distinguish between domestic and international issues. Today's students need to learn about their global partners, their cultures, histories, languages, values, and viewpoints. It is through education and exchange that they will become better collaborators, competitors, and compassionate neighbors in this global society.